He settled himself in, but damned if it didn't feel wrong, him sitting in the passenger seat. He was never one to ride in the passenger seat, even when he was on patrol. Most times it made him feel carsick, just the fact that he was not in control of the moving vehicle. So what if he borderlined on being a control freak? He knew that, and he accepted it. Robin still loved him, and thankfully, she put up with his crap and his stubbornness. When it came to him driving, she actually preferred it. Rob looked over his shoulder to see Jake in the back seat playing his Nintendo DS. Jake loved the thing, but Rob worried that getting it for him for last Christmas might have been a bad idea. Jake was never away from it. It was like an extension of his arm, and it made spending time with him difficult. All Jake wanted to do was to have his dad play it with him, but Rob would rather take him to the park and throw the ball around. Rob smiled at him and then turned to look at his lovely wife, Robin, as she lowered herself behind the wheel. She was a terrible driver who was never comfortable with it. She was always nervous and would often beg Rob to take the wheel. He could tell that even though he was just getting out of the hospital and had undergone so much therapy, she still wanted him to drive. She wore a weak smile, which she tried to hide behind, but Rob could see it in the apprehensive way she looked down at the ignition. He could almost hear her mentally cursing at the car, scared to actually start it. You want me to drive? No, I'm fine. I just don't know how I'm going to drive both the moving van and the car, though. I'll have to drive the truck. You know I can't drive through the city. Just get us home. I'll see about renting us a car trailer. We'll just attach the car to the moving truck. Rob laid his head back into the seat, trying to melt into it. He wished he could go home and lie down for a while, rest up a little before they drove for nearly three hours in traffic to their new house. Just getting through the paperwork and forms and the walk from the hospital had exhausted him. The last thing he wanted to do was drive. Is everything loaded and ready to go when we get to the house? Yeah, your ex-partner and a bunch of other cops came by and helped load everything in. All we have to do is grab and go. He felt some relief with the thought that everything was already packed and ready to go. While he didn't relish the thought of the traffic, he did want to get to their new home. The pictures of the new place that Robin had shown him on her cell phone looked great. She had done a walkthrough, sending him pictures room by room. It was a large, beautiful home, more than they would ever need. It was twice the size of where they'd lived, but was only a fraction of the price. There had to be some kind of catch. Either the roof was caving in, or the foundation was falling apart. Something had to be wrong with it. Yeah, this would be best for the both of them. Sure it would. Hey, Pickle, how about we swing by for Kids Donald's on the way home? Get you a toy and a kid's meal. Jake looked up from his game, his eyes sparkling with the thought of the kid's meal and toy. Can I get a double cheeseburger? Sure can. Rob looked over to see Robin giving him the evil eye and knew that she didn't want to do any more driving than she had to. If you want me to drive, hon, I can. I just don't think we should be wasting our money on fast food. Money is going to be tight until we get the house sold. Just drive us over to the McDonald's and I'll drive to the house. I've had nothing to eat but that damned hospital food for I don't know how long. Not even the good crap that they serve in the cafeteria either, but that crap they bring to your room that even the mice won't touch. I need a Big Mac, some fries, and a shake. Robin pulled the car into the parking lot and found the first space that she could to park. Thank you, Rob said as he pushed open his door and worked his way to a standing position. His body still ached, but at least he was up and moving. Yay, Kids Donalds! Yep, Kids Donalds, Robin said as she reached for her own door. Get some grub and then get on the road. What do you say, buddy? Rob pulled his seat forward, allowing Jake to work his way out of the back seat. Sounds good to me as long as I get a toy. Rob rifled his hand through Jake's hair, play fighting with him as Jake tried to get away. Rob pulled his hand back to see Jake looking up at him with a big smile. Yeah, you'll get a toy. <laughs>